YouTube, it's Tracy from Entrepreneur Girl and today is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day. I hope you had a really special day. And today we are going to be talking about creating an eBay account and why you would do that and what are the benefits of doing that and step by step. As you know, when I graduated from the University of Florida with a business degree, I actually started in stock trading. But before too long, I accidentally fell into eBay's. eBay was my first love with e-commerce. It has a very valid place. So today, I'm going to walk you through it. If you haven't already started an eBay account, I hope you will join me and just walk along with me. If you have, I hope, if you already have an eBay account, I hope you will join us in having the eBay discussions and talking about a storefront and talking about how it's important. <laughs> So we are on www.ebay.com and we are going to work on getting an account set up. So if you're new, you can just follow along or you can watch and do this later. But come up here to the upper left hand corner and click register if you do not have an account. And this is where you get to choose between a personal and a business account. We're going to pause a second because you're probably wondering which one should you get. So for a business account, for reselling, um, producing with products that you've made yourself, or if you're going to be selling high quantities of products, then advantages for registering your business on eBay include you get to use your company name, it's displayed on all your communication with your buyers, such as your invoices and your emails. And additionally, for tax purposes, it keeps everything squared away and separated business from personal now on the personal account you're just kind of hobby selling or you know you're selling here and there and you're unable to reach a revenue income required for IRS taxation you can do a Google search on that because I'm not a CPA but when you do this is pretty much what you're going to find that you should report all of your income to the IRS, of course. Um, how they break it down, though, is hobby or business. And once you start reaching this $20,000 in gross sales or more than 200 transactions in a calendar year, then you need to fill out this 1099 form. Um, it's not so much the gross sales that gets most people, it's this 200 transactions, because that's pretty easy to get to. All right, but back to our account. If you basically have no intention of making this some you know, source of income or a dependent income, then you know maybe you just want to try it out on a personal account. But you can always change this. Uh, just go to my eBay account, personal information, and then next to account type, just click the edit link, and you will be able to change back and forth. So don't weigh too much into that. Let's just go ahead and fill out the information. Okay, so I'm just typing in email, typing in password, typing in my name, phone number, and clicking register. Okay, it asked me to enter in a verification code, and I'm clicking register again. Okay, so it's telling me, welcome to eBay, and now that you have an account, uh, what do you need to do? I'm going to say text me a pen. Okay, once that's done, you'll see, hi Tracy, up here in the corner, and you can see that I just have some basic name right now because I'm just making this up to show you guys, but you can edit your profile here. You can see the items that you have for sale, your collections, your followers, all of this kind of stuff. If you click on my eBay right here, then you can see this is like your seller dashboard, and you can see how many items that you're trying to buy, how many that you're selling, and you can look through everything right here in one place. You can go to account, and you can look at all of this stuff that you might need to change, personal information, address, PayPal account is necessary for this, and so we're gonna do a separate YouTube video for that. 
because you do want those two to be linked. Okay, so I would definitely suggest a business account. So if you do decide to have a business account, you're going to click on this button and now you're going to type in your legal business name. So it could be anything from um, Wholesale Debbie, <laughs> if that's your name, whatever you want to put. And then you would have Debbie at Wholesale Debbie.com. Re enter that in, create a password put in your legal business phone, and then click register. And one of them is eBay Seller Hub, if you just do a Google search on that and open it up. So this is a really helpful place that I don't know a lot of new users know about, but I definitely wanted to mention it so that you could check it out and even watch a YouTube video about it you know, seeing it in action. So I won't bore you with all the details about that. I just wanted to point it out. Another place is eBay seller information. If you do a Google search on that, eBay has a lot of helpful information for you. And you can explore just about any topic you want and, you know, really self-teach a lot of this. So I wanted to point it out because newbies don't know that this exists either. And this is kind of all you need to know, you know, to start to sell, to increase your sales, you know, really building your business and growing your business. And we're going to be talking about a lot of these topics here on uh, the YouTube channel. So that way I can just show you and make it easier for you and you won't have to sort through all of this stuff to figure it out. You know, I've been doing this for years and can kind of give you tips along with the information. And so that's my intent, but I do want you to know that this is also there. And another Google search would be eBay stores. And here you can learn a lot about setting up an eBay store. And if you don't know, you know, why you should set up an eBay store or what that really is, basically you can have this option to create a storefront in your eBay account, which I feel is awesome. And some of the reasons why I like a store is because you get lower insertion fees for any of your fixed price items. You have the option to do good until canceled listings if you want to. Um, you have access to marketing and sales tools that you otherwise wouldn't have. You get more free listings. You get promotions to mark down your products. You can put it on vacation mode if you're going away. You can create a brand, which we've talked about in the past with private label. Creating a brand is really important and you have that feature here. You can manage auto feedback. You can have all kinds of uh, display templates so you can really personalize it and make it the way you want it to look. And it has promotion boxes, customized categories, on and on and on. If you decide that you want to open up a store right here on the right hand side, you can just click open a store or you can click manage a store if you already have an existing one. And it's going to show you and talk about some of the same things I just talked to you about. Um, you know, why it is important to do that. So the first step is register as a seller, which we've already done. And then you can choose your eBay store subscription and you just go and do it. There's three different types of stores. You have basic, premium, and anchor stores. And you can read all of this for yourself, but basically, it's going to depend on how much inventory you're selling. And so most of us start with the basic and then we work our way up. And this is how much it costs if you do a yearly subscription. So it's $20 a month, basically. And these are the discounted prices you get. This is all the, you know, the final value fees. You know, you're saving a lot, especially the bigger you get and the more items you're selling. That percentage really, really, really adds up and you can just scroll down here and see the differences. So if you're asking for my personal opinion, I definitely think that you should set up a business account and I definitely think you should set up a storefront just starting with the basic and take it seriously. Treat it like a business, not like a hobby. You should be selling enough to pay for these fees pretty easily. Think about it, you have easy access to worldwide customer base with eBay and Amazon and there's very very low risk with starting this. It's a low dollar value of starting this. 
you get this massive internet traffic and there's really no ceiling you can grow as big as you want to grow when you're an entrepreneur when you're your own boss because really you're just limited to you know how much time how much effort how much knowledge you're putting into this and you're also protected when you're on these forums you know you have a certain degree of protection from fraud uh, not starting your own thing. You know, there's a lot of safeguards in these And the last thing I want to talk to you about are the eBay fees. This will probably be its own separate video when we talk about, you know, the fees and determining which products to purchase while calculating the fees that will be taken out of our profit. But if you Google eBay fees, you can just click on the standard selling fees and it's going to go through how all the fees are calculated. Reason I'm bringing it up is because if you are new, there's a lot you don't understand as far as, you know, how the fees are broken down. And so you can read through it here. But more what I want to tell you is that you do have uh, to be patient on eBay because eBay does give you a limit, a selling limit when you first begin. And an example of that would be you can sell 10 items or a thousand dollars a month and once you hit that they basically freeze you and you can't sell anymore until the next month are there are ways to improve that if you call ebay customer service on the 31st day and you're professional and you have a defined game plan and you you know tell and you've already maxed out your limit that they set for you they will really i've never been told no they will increase the limits that you have. You can search the help pages and look up the limits like we're talking about and really anything in these help pages will help you understand the fees and the limits that we're talking about. Selling on eBay really is a wonderful thing to add to your e-commerce uh, platform especially when you're starting. I started with eBay and grew it to three different storefronts and then I added Amazon and then now that I've been selling on Amazon for a long time I'm actually backing off of eBay a little bit but eBay is just you know gold to e-commerce sellers it's the number two platform Amazon being the number one platform but different clientele a different style and it does make sense to have them both working together with you making money every month for joining me today. I hope the video was helpful to you. I hope you started your eBay account and I look forward to talking to you next video. If you haven't, please down in the comments below, write any questions that you have for me personally or business for our 25,000 subscriber video. Yay! Super psyched about that. So ask anything you want down in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and help us reach that 25,000 mark. Couldn't do it without you guys. Love ya and have a great Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.